Algonans love their parks. Looks like the park district is about to give them another one to love. I'm over here in the West Loop at the Adams Sangamon Park, located, if you can believe it, at Adams Street and Sangamon Street. It's also bounded by uh, Monroe Street to the north and Peoria to the east. You can see that it's uh, still a work in progress. It's coming along nicely. Came over here to the northwest corner because I noticed these square-shaped gateways. Uh, they're over here in this paved courtyard. Uh, I can see some wiring in them, so I'm not sure if they're going to be lighted once completed or uh, or how exactly this is going to look. But uh, look kind of interesting, so I thought that this would be a good place to start. What the park district's done here is they've created a number of hills in this park. Uh, I would suppose just simply by pushing dirt around or hauling some in. Over here, one of them's been completed. They've come in and uh, planted some young trees. They've also brought in some landscaping. And some people actually today are uh, starting to plant. Over in the distance, the colorful stuff you see back there, that's a playground over on the eastern side. Over on the southern side, there's a concrete path, which is bounded on one end by a metal wall, behind which is uh, one of those hills. It looks like an iron wall, kind of rust-colored. Has some bolts on it. Looks very industrial. On the other side, uh, there is poured molded concrete that serves both as a barrier between the path and uh, another one of those green hills or lawns, but also serves as a sort of park bench. And I'll show you those in just a second as well. Make your way about halfway down Sangamon between Monroe and Adams, and you'll find this fenced-in area. It actually has one of those airlock type gates where a, uh, a gate opens up onto the sidewalk. You walk in there and there's a second gate that leads you into this main area. That's the sort of thing that would tell me that this might be a dog park, although uh, it's not, it doesn't have a gravel surface, which you would typically expect from a dog park or at least something a little softer than uh, paved concrete. But if it's not a dog park, I'm not sure uh, what it might be. So we'll have to find out. Over here in the southwest corner, that would be Sangamon and Adams, you can see where they're going to be installing some landscaping. Looks like they have a mix of uh, wildflowers, tall grasses, and maybe some ferns that they're going to put over here. And there's even a chalk line in the dirt, which is probably going to be the barrier between, or the dividing line between the landscaping that they will be installing and then the uh, sod or grass seed that they will be putting down. Uh, as your main lawn that you will be able to uh, walk or lounge on here at the park. You can see a little bit, if I can get around the fence here, you can see a little bit of how the paths look. This is going to be one of the uh, brick paved paths. It's bounded on each side with some sort of uh, medium sized gray gravel and then, again, these iron walls, which uh, have some nice big bolts or rivets in them. They're still doing a lot of work. There's some trees over there in the corner that still have not been planted. You'll notice that the paved path that goes along here in what would be leading to the southeast corner is poured concrete instead of uh, brick paver. There's a path leading from the northwest corner to the southeast that will be uh, brick. And in fact, they still have pallets of those bricks sitting out in the middle of the park, waiting to be laid. To put the park in a little bit of perspective neighborhood-wise, up in front of me is a uh, condo building or soft loft building called 901 West Madison. Over there in the center of the screen, you can see Skybridge, which is the neighborhood's tallest condo building. I suppose the tallest building this side of the river. And then just beyond this loft building, 
here at the corner of Peoria and Adams. You can see just a sliver of it there, kind of in the center of the screen. But just beyond that is Emerald, which we've written about uh, extensively. A two-building condo development over in the 100 block of Green Street. That's probably about a block to the east of here, a block and a half from where I'm standing right now. And finally wanted to bring you over to the eastern side of the park, about halfway between Monroe and Adams, to show off the playground. This complex over here is quite impressive. It's full of hills and valleys uh, of concrete, it appears, and uh, jungle gym equipment, and slides, and all sorts of other things sprawling all over it run up to the top of one of these hills, climb over the equipment, run over to a slide and slide all the way down to what appears to be an area below uh, ground level here. It's kind of hard to tell from the sidewalk with the spins up. They have a lot of equipment in place and a lot more to go up, I'm guessing.